will be your tour guide for today aboard the trolley. Today we will take a trip to South Africa. You will learn about the culture, animals, and important history. We will begin with the history. In 1992, an archaeologist found fossil-like footprints in the sand. Some believe that the women who made these footprints may be the ancestors to all of us, if this myth is true. Between 100,000 and 150,000 years ago, the earliest human beings who were from South Africa began to spread across the world. The fact that these are the oldest footprints found so far in the world may be a reason why people believe we all came from South Africa. Any questions? Unfortunately, for 304 years, there was apartheid between races. Apartheid is when whites were separated from others. When it was over becoming a free country, the townspeople sent in ideas for the new flag. The colors were black, green, red, blue, yellow, white. Black standard for black Africa. Most South Africans are black. Green for agriculture and food production of the country. Yellow for the good wealth of the country. Red for the blood of who has died to make South Africa a free country. Blue for the moderate climate with plenty of blue sky. White for the international symbol of peace and justice like the white dove. Diamonds were found in 1867 and gold in 1888. Whites only could mine at favorite spots. Nowadays, South Africa is considered the treasure house. South Africa makes about 30% of the world's gold. During the decade, the prices have gone down. For example, an ounce of gold was $700, but dropped down to under $300. An ounce of gold is a little larger than a quarter. The lowering of prices have been bad for South Africa's economy and houses, housing, also education. We are now passing the mining spot that started it all. Mining is very important to South Africa's economy history of mining all started with a shepherd boy named Conkey in 1867. He found a shiny rock by Orange River and gave it to a friend whose family is greatly interested in it. To confirm his thoughts, he mailed it to a friend who said it was a diamond. That little boy named Conkey started a whole diamond rush. Now, of course, peace in South Africa did not happen like boom. Nelson Mandela was the voice of South Africa. He stood up for equal rights. He was born in 1911. Nelson grew up burning cows as a boy, so he had lots of times, time to think about the future. He was arrested in 1960 for 27 years. Nelson was not arrested for crime, but, but because of his thoughts of freedom. He was freed when apartheid ended. Nelson Mandela was the elected president. Any questions? Michael? When was he elected president? I'm pretty sure around 1990. Now remember, I promised animals. This is a zebra, one of the big five most common animals. Other of the big five are lions, elephants, giraffes, and hippos. Other common animals in South Africa are kudu, which is we would call it antelope, impala, warthogs, and rhinos. Now, of course, there's not just animals in nature. There's plant life too, including rivers. South Africa has fewer rivers than other countries of the same size. Most of the plant life in savannah inhabits shrubs and low grass. Okay, now holidays. June 16th is about school events and all who are free. On June 16th, about 700 students were shot. Another holiday is Freedom Day. On April 27th, on Freedom Day, millions of South African Africans came to vote. Okay. One of our most famous music groups are the Landsmith Black Mimbazo. Landsmith Black Mimbazo is a cappella group. Music young people listen to is hip hop and R and B, which stands for rhythm and blues. South Africa's hip hop is about life in South Africa with dance too. Once again, nobody has as much poems, songs, and paintings as Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela has one of the most exciting collections of poems, songs, and paintings. Just like in music, we have sports. In fact, we are considered a sports-crazy country. In June 2002, South African's team nicknamed the Bufuna Bafan, the boys, played in the Soccer World Cup Finals in Japan and Korea. Another well-known sport is rugby. It was like American football, but way more dangerous. So about rugby. 
1995, the National Rugby Team won the Cup, the World Cup, and the President personally congratulated the team with medals, which was a big honor. Starting in 1968, South Africa was banned from the Olympics. But in 1990, when Nelson Mandela was released from prison, South Africa was back in the Olympics. As you can see, there is that poster. This is a map of South Africa, including big cities and capitals, um, which are the star in the circle. This is a picture of a family of four. And this is a normal dinner in a South African household. In other less fortunate places, dinner means fish or maybe even a loaf of bread. This is a home in South Africa. This is a picture of some deer stopping at the riverbank to get some water. This is one of the big five animals of South Africa, a lion. This is a South African farm, much like an American farm. As you can see, some women are helping out on the farm. This is an animal called kudu, an antelope. Kudu is a popular animal in South Africa. And then as mentioned, this is Nelson Mandela. Feels like you're Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This is a picture of dancing on New Year's Eve. Um, these three pictures are of Nelson Mandela, kids on New Year's Eve, and a flag of South Africa. This is the flag. This is South African's flag. Africa's flag. And the flag of South Africa. Have backgrounds or apartments. Nelson Mandela stood up for equal rights. He went to jail for 27 years for assaults of freedom. When Nelson Mandela was released from prison and apartheid ended, Nelson was elected president. The children are celebrating New Year's Eve. As you can see, they have face paint and some have fun outfits. It is a ritual celebration to celebrate a new year. There are parades and booths. It is one of the most celebrated parts of the year. The flag was changed when apartheid ended. Each color has a meaning. The colors are red, white, yellow, blue, green, and black. Black for black Africa, most South Africans are black. Green for agriculture and food production of the country. Yellow for the good wealth of the country. Red for the blood of who has died to make South Africa a free country. Blue for the moderate climate with plenty of blue sky. White for the international symbol of peace and justice like the white dove. I brought something, an African food. It's called puff puffs. I hope you can enjoy these while we look at some pictures.